I wanted to start us off by doing some doing. I want to start us off by thinking about our thinking, being a little bit metacognitive. And to do so, I've got a black line master. So I want you to get it out. On your tables, you've got a worksheet. It's headed perimeters. Uh, on your tables, you've also got a plastic bowl or two with a paper bag in it. I'd like you to tip the contents of the paper bag out into the plastic bowl. And all through these two days, when I get you to do something, when we're doing some of these activities, I want you to think about your thinking. So what I want you to do now is, what I want you to do now is to do the worksheet. I want you to do the worksheet and think about your thinking whilst you're doing it. If anybody's not got a worksheet, can you just stick your hand up and we'll, uh, we'll find some spare ones. I want to, I want to compare that, you know, it was, it was great that you were doing it, but I want to compare that to something else. I want to do something different. What I want to say to you is that I think that the perimeter of my hands is longer than my height. What do you think? Go on, what do you think? Some people are not having it. Yes, no? Uh, two hands. Of my, the perimeter of my two hands is longer than my height. What do you think? When you've decided, you can think yes, you can think no, you can think, well, maybe. What I want you to do is prove it. Use the things that you've just tipped out in the bowl. Use whatever you want, pens, paper, anything you want. Whatever you think, prove it. It was interesting, it was interesting for me uh, going around and talking to some people about the stories that you got and the, the questions that you had. What, what was the difference between the two? Anyone want to happy to offer a difference when you were thinking about the two, you know, doing the Black Line Master and doing the hands? Of course, what I was trying to do was to transfer the ownership to you as well. You know, to say, you know, what, what do you think? You prove it, you know. Uh, I gave you a pile of stuff um, and some of it you could, it might have used. Some of it was obviously, prob probably obvious to us, a kind, of, a kind of red herring. You know, when I was uh, at school being told by my maths teacher, if, if you're doing a, a question, a maths question, and you've not used all of, the, all of the information in the problem, then you're probably doing something wrong. When's life like that? You know, <laughs> when, does, when do you get to do that? And so, you know, putting all those different things out made it so that you had to make some choices. You know, we could have talked about which of the pieces of string you'll have noticed that all, well, you might have noticed that all the pieces of string were different. So some of them were, there's some pieces of elastic out there. That, that's rubbish for doing, this, for doing this task, right? So we might have, some, so we might have had a conversation with the, with the um, students, might have brought up some questions about, well, which one would we use and why would we use that? Somebody asked me, um, do you count the wrist? So when we're doing around the, the perimeter around the hand, do you count the wrist? I never told you that whether to count the wrist or not. And it was interesting that the question, the very question came up, creating this opportunity for a discussion about, well, what is perimeter? You know, what does perimeter actually mean? And, and let's get into that. But it was coming from your questions. So that transfer of ownership, that um, multiple entry points, you taking your entry points, you know, those were all the things, of course, that I was trying to do, trying to um, uh, pull out in the difference. And really, I want to use this, this example, this activity, as something that we can refer back to over the next day or two about the difference between, you know, that kind of black line master, limited learning opportunities, and the way in which we create sophisticated and purposeful learning opportunities.